Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to Savage Reactions. I'm David. I'm Angie. I'm a little bit of everything. I'm a whole lot of rock and roll. So, throwback Thursdays. We kind of melting pot of all sorts of different stuff. So, what are we going to do today? Today is going to be 1950s TV commercials. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So, my parents were actually born in the 1940s, but um, yeah, I remember seeing a few 50s commercials here and there, but uh, they're kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Yeah. So it'll be fun to see how commercials were back then and, and how they've changed from today's commercials. And I don't want to let any... Do you watch commercials today? <laughs> <laughs> I usually skip past them. Yeah. Here we go. 1950s commercials. Hit it. Lots of activities going on about this season of the year. The one you'll find uppermost in the minds of most high school students, especially toward the end of any week, is football. And the night before the big game, there's generally a rally. Now, you don't want to be late, but before you go, remember, you're planning to bring the gang in afterwards. Now you've got the idea. Put plenty of Coke in that refrigerator. Ice cold Coca-Cola will be a mighty welcome sight when you return. You know, it's a good idea to keep plenty of Coke on ice all the time. Coca-Cola has a distinctive flavor, all its own. A flavor that has never been equal. Coca-Cola is popular with everyone. Which makes it ideal when you're expecting guests. Now that's true whether it's a casual gathering like this one, or a planned party. I think it was a Bright, distinctive because there was cocaine in it? Or? It's always <laughs> welcome. It's a flavor that has made Coca-Cola the most asked for soft drink in the world. Have a Coke. <laughs> Have some Coke. It'll really mess you up. Um, did you notice? Like, I like the music. Yeah. And I like his voice. Yep. Um, basically, everybody in the commercial was doing charades. Except for the, you know, they were just like... Because <laughs> he was talking. But, you know, he got his good drink of... Uh, Coke at the end there. Yes, he did. Jello, J E L L O. J E L L O. Jello is used a lot in the Back to present yeah, it was. ancient Chinese pantomime, just for fun of it, Jello tonight. Back to present small Chinese Thai baby waiting for dessert. <laughs> what? Chinese mother, bling baby, Jello, famous Western delicacy. Poor Chinese baby. He unable to tell if this jello is strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, lime, apple, black raspberry, black cherry, or grape. Famous Western delicacy. Jello can be yeah. all ten flavors. Oh, oh, oh a sad baby. baby. But Chinese mother, bling baby, great Western invention, spoon. Spoon was invented for eating jello. <laughs> baby fine, this is great jello. This is a great Western invention. Flavor. Chinese so. baby. Very happy. So, an ancient Chinese pantomime is pretty good commercial, no? <laughs> I have so many questions. Okay, that was that was so. funny and cute, and I'm sure um, some of some of our uh, far left, or maybe even a little left leaning uh, folks out there would be like. Somehow. Somehow. Like, what? Chinese people wouldn't eat jello? I mean, I don't get it. But my only problem with this commercial is the whole idea of the spoon. Because anybody who has had a small baby knows that jello was made for hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just get in there and just blah, blah, blah. They don't need a spoon. Your first. Well, I guess it'd be your third birthday cake was a jello cake. My third birthday cake was a jello cake. And I do not recall using chopsticks or a spoon. <laughs> and our second son, our middle kid, his first cake was a jello cake as well because he wait, was the, was the first son also because he couldn't have dairy. 
The second son didn't have dairy. I think both of them had yep. Jello cakes for their first birthdays. Yeah, because they, they couldn't were... have dairy at the time. Yeah, they grew out of it, but they uh, they were a little bit uh, not dairy friendly when they first started out, and uh, yeah, the so kids were not dairy friendly. No, they were not. They were mean to those. They were cows. mean to those cows. <laughs> mean to the dairy. <laughs> Uh, what's next? All right. Ritz crackers. Hey, Love these and Ritz. No, no, stop, darling. Don't blow your top. I always keep another box handy. Dandy. He knows Ritz crackers are richer. Crisp in his mouth is full, or he help us whisper. Only in the bits go. Thanks, Ritz. Yep. Not much to say on that one except for the original stop animation. There we go. Space Man! The moon and sun and all the stars are pretty big since you're a box. I'm a princess. Yes, my lord, it's a party tonight. The men have put you a pop. All the kids in the neighborhood say, put you a pop. So careful, good. Careful, good. And do you know why? Sure. Because one, there's good tasting hard candy outside. And two, there's a delicious center of Tootsie Roll inside. And three, only Tootsie Roll Pops are said fun to eat. That's why they're triple good. Triple and don't forget Tootsie Roll triple. Pops come in a party pack too. Ten pops in assorted flavors. There's a game on the back that's lots of fun to do. A game on the back? Oh, what was that? That that girl's voice was squeaky. Yeah. I had a lot of Tootsie Roll Pops when I was young. Did you? I had Tootsie Roll Pops and Blow Pops. You know, I didn't get much in the way of candy until I was old enough to sort of get away from the house. Like, go, you know, if I could go ride my bike to the... To the quick mart up the You didn't have candy in your house? No, not really. It's so sad. Yeah. I had candy at my house. Okay. And then we'd house. go, um my older brother was in Little League for a little while. So we'd go to the Little League field. There were like I think I think like three three fields that we played on and then they always had a um like snack shack. And you'd go there, and they had so much candy there. We get lemon heads, we got Tootsie Roll Pops, we got all kinds of candy. Big, big chew gum there, big mm -hmm. league chew gum. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, we got candy all the time when I was eating. I'm so sad for you. Maybe that's why I'm not huge on sweets now that I'm grown up. Yeah. Aw, I'm sorry. It's okay. The you know pretty, yes, the prettiest heads in town are turning to Shasta for a hot. Green shampoo. When lateral and enriched chest Wait. meets hot water, hundreds of tiny cells I explode and hot Shasta was soda. That cleans and right? fosters hair. I just had to, to your own second guess oil. everything. I'm like, give you a I thought this was food commercial, but it's not. No. It's As an extra just 1950s commercials, but yeah, I thought Shasta's rich Shasta is soda now. Deep scalp treatment. After a Anybody out there remember Shasta as um, a shampoo? Maybe? Does, drop a comment, drop a comment below. Does anyone know who this mystery lady is? She's very pretty. Drop a... How do you know? They showed her before, when she was putting it on. Well, right now she looks like she's in witness protection, protection <laughs> program. <laughs> you don't want anyone to know who I am when I put my shampoo on. <laughs> Cream treatment costs only nine cents. Nine cents. Nine, nine cents. Right. See, there she okay, is. there she is. Very pretty. Behaving best for days to come when you have a hot cream shampoo with Shasta. Riding on a carousel. Skippy. <gasps> Skippy. Do they still make Skippy? Yes. Fifty to sixty years ago, people were introduced to peanut butter for the first time. Why is it on a lollipop? They looked it over carefully. The daring and courageous bought it. Well, children love it. <laughs> but Ma and Pa were more critical. 
They discovered it had several drawbacks. It became oily, sticky, and didn't stay fresh very long. It was rather hard to digest. It didn't taste like peanuts. Grown-ups never became peanut butter fans until 1933, when a new kind of peanut butter started to appear in grocery stores. It looked different. It smelled different. It tasted different. It had practically nothing in common with the old style product. Um, Do you, is that the end of the commercial? Okay, pause it. Do you remember in our old house, the first house we had, you we bought natural peanut butter? Yes. All natural peanut butter, thinking, oh, it would be nice and healthy for us. Yeah. How delicious, natural, healthy peanut butter. <laughs> and it tasted, I know where you're going. It tasted horribly. Yeah. And, and it had that little like ring of oil on well, top. Yeah, it was like that thick. So thick. You couldn't spread it on anything. And then I think you just taught me this like within the past year or so, maybe two years, that if you turn the peanut butter upside down, the oil doesn't, or maybe I saw it on something. I don't know. But, but if you turn the peanut butter upside down, then the oil, that ring of oil on top doesn't then it'll be at the bottom. Yeah, but then top. when you turn it over yeah. to get it out, then... It'll be at the bottom on top. <laughs> it'll be on top of the bottom. <gasps> okay. But I think that's probably why people didn't like peanut butter before. And then Skippy came out, and I'm sure they added a sweetener, probably sugar. Yeah. And that tastes so much better now. Yeah. Yeah. True. And I'm sure there's some kind of preservative that makes it so it's <clears throat> not so... Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cigarette. Discover the clean difference. Why the clean you drown? difference Stop. in today's smoking Stop with new drowning Bel -Air your friends. Cigarettes. Breathe easy. Smoke clean with Bel Air. Air fresh menthol. Smoke wind. clean. The clean difference in taste. <laughs> Deep set recessed filter. The clean difference before. in filter tips. Oh. Breathe easy. Smoke clean with new Bel Air. <laughs> the clean difference in smoking. <laughs> Okay, I laugh. I laugh because as a former smoker, there's nothing clean about smoking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's filthy. Yeah, it's gonna get I, you lost. I, I loved it. Don't get me wrong. I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> We're healthier and better for it. But yeah. yes, it I mean, I was... feel like I stress out a lot more. Yeah. I'm sure physically I'm more healthy, but mentally I stress out a lot more and have worse anxiety because I have nothing to calm me down like that. Interesting. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go buy some cigarettes for my wife. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean, we know Mr. Clean. We have a friend that kind of looks like Mr. Clean. Yeah. A little bit. Hmm. She's talking about you, Rich. What? Maybe I'm talking about Frank, his brother. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. What? Oh, stop it. Situation urgent. Ah! Dirt oh, you've right. never had that commercial nowadays. Dirt no. To right. Dirt above. Dirt below. Luckily, you have a secret weapon. Oh, since I was you, Mr. Clean, Ooh. he's me. He's pew, pew. Dirt. <laughs> Oh, I wish it worked like that. Oh, man. Oh, how much fun would that be? You know, I wish our son were here watching this with us because he's been doing a really good good job at cleaning, and I bet he wished it would clean like that. Yeah, why is he so angry? Nothing. Mission completed. Thanks to your secret weapon, new Mr. Clean. He's mean. He hates dirt. Yeah, filthy animal. He's mean and he hates dirt. Maxwell House. This is the puppy pot at work. Go later. Listen to it first. Look at the coffee as it gets darker and stronger. Smell dark 
Maxwell House coffee tastes as good as it smells every time. If you like to look at good coffee, listen to good coffee, smell good coffee, and taste good coffee, brew Maxwell House. Yeah, glad we finally made it there. Tastes as good as it smells every time. Look at good coffee. Smell it. I get this as good as the last drop. Yeah. It tastes as good as it smells every time. Maxwell House. Yes, no matter how high the temperature goes outdoors, this baby's RCA air conditioner will keep his room. Hey, is that Uncle Joey? Dry, fresh air. Remember from Back to the Future? Oh. Better get used to these bars, kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say they don't even, you can't have cribs like that anymore. No. Nope. Nope. compressor silently cools the air for you. Heart of coal. Heart of gold. You're so clever. Wow. It was a simpler time then. I was never allowed to touch the thermostat. Heck no! <laughs> what do you mean this little child is responsible for the... Are you kidding? The only time I was responsible is if I was told, hey, go turn down on Thursday. <laughs> but if I touched it without being told? Same. So much trouble. Yeah. Mm -mm. And that still goes today. We don't for our kids. That. Like, hey, go turn down the thermostat for us. Okay. Don't touch it on your own, though. Then don't touch that thermostat. <laughs> Stop it. The RCA climate cooler with its panel has push button controls for choosing the indoor climate she wants. Now she's setting the thermostat control for constant, even comfort. And all through the night, that thermostat makes certain of the same cool, gentle room temperature. There's an RCA air conditioner to suit any room. One just right for you. And for RCA service and installation, get one of these RCA factory service contracts. Please make the RCA. Then you'll be certain of the yeah, maybe. service for America's finest air conditioner, the RCA air conditioner. You can almost hear it as a radio yeah. uh, ad. And they they also, RCA also made TVs. Pause it. There we go. They made TVs and radios. All sorts, radios, all sorts of different yeah. stuff. That was interesting. I like seeing their how they appeared, their, their clothing, with the kitchens of the furniture, their houses and stuff, um, their voices, their inflection, the way that they used it, because it went from radio to commercial, so they still had that like radio yes. voice, the radio tone. Everyone spoke very clearly with excellent diction. Yes. And they all spoke from right here. Yes. Because it gives it a brighter, there's a whole bunch of technical reasons why, with vocal folds and stuff like that, but I'm not going to get into that. But anyway. That was fun. <laughs> that was cool. Okay. I like that. We'll have to do some more vintage commercials. Do you remember, is there anybody out there that remembers these commercials? Drop a comment below. Let us know. Let us know if there's any other commercials that uh, you remember from back then. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Like. Share. Bell. Oh yeah, and ring the little bell. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Ring and the little bell. Comment down below. Helps the algorithm. <laughs> and also visit us on our Facebook page, Savage yep. Reactions. I love interacting with you guys over there and let us know if there's other content that you'd like to see. We are yeah. our throwback Thursdays. Yep, we're also on the Insta and soon to be on the Twitter and Rumble and all sorts of places. You can find us everywhere. So Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Peace. Log on.